Senator James Moylan says his colleagues should lead the way in fighting Guam's drug epidemic. The freshman Republican senator says his Bill 26 and his legislative rules resolution 16 are a good first step for senators to not only talk the talk, but walk the walk as well. Bill 26 would lift drug test exemptions for elected and appointed officials and members of boards and commissions, while rules resolution 16 would require legislative employees undergo drug testing. If we're mandating that for the employees, then the legislature should mandate that for themselves too. Again, just leading by example. Well, Moylan says he expects some opposition to his measures, but at the end of the day, hard drugs are taking their toll on the island. The cocaine, the ice, all that stuff, that, those are hard drugs, those are bad drugs. It's, those will never become legal. It hurts the health and welfare of our community. While Moylan's measures have raised some eyebrows in the community, particularly with those who wonder if marijuana use will constitute a failed test, Moylan says his focus isn't on pot. My concern is meth and cocaine. You're safe with your medical uh, card for marijuana, medicinal purposes. The people of Guam voted for that. Eventually, we'll be voting on recreational marijuana as well. When asked if he thinks legislative employees are using drugs, Moylan said like every GovGuam agency, he's sure there are some senatorial staffers who will pop positive. Moylan said he'll take a drug test any day, and he challenges his colleagues to do the same. The minority senator said the 35th Guam legislature could save taxpayers time, effort, and money if senators just take a voluntary drug test. Just do it voluntarily. You can do that as well. That, that would help out and lead by example. Sure, that, that, that would save everybody some time and effort and stuff like that. Sure. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports.